Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I thought I'd do hair because I've been doing makeup for a few weeks now. But I wanted to show you how I quickly do this hair. I got a lot of questions on Instagram and TikTok on how I did my hair in the previous video. And I thought I'd show you because it's really, really easy. You don't need many things. And this is what I usually do when I am in a rush, but I need my hair to look put together. Super easy super voluminous and I'm also going to teach you how to add volume in the back and have a little bit of natural volume at the front. So if you guys are interested in learning make sure you keep on watching and let's begin. Alright so the first thing you're going to do is you want to comb out your hair. You want to make sure there's no tangles because the less tangles the easier it is obviously. You guys don't want tangled hair. You really want tangled hair. I love this comb. It came with my Dyson Air Wrap and it's like a wide tooth comb. I don't comb my hair every day. I don't know if that's a thing but honestly I don't. But when I do style it I have to comb it and I feel like this comb is the best. It, you can comb your hair and it won't hurt. Okay, so I use the Bellamy hair wand. So this hair wand, I bought this probably, I want to say like seven to eight years ago. And it comes with six different attachments. So the barrels come in different sizes. And this has been doing the greatest job since like seven, eight, maybe even 10 years ago. But I'm using this one. This is the 25 millimeter one. Today I'm going to use a BB hairdresser invisible oil heat primer. This one right here. Shake that up. And I'm just going to... Split my hair in half. I'm gonna spray this side. And then spray some on this side. And I'm just gonna comb it out. Okay, so this is the hairstyle I do when I don't have time, but I wanna look like I tried. So I feel like I'm always trying to cheat life. So I just take big chunks and I do it. So today I'll do a little bit less chunk, but this is exactly how I do it. So you're gonna take your thumbs and you're gonna go right here, this area right above your right above your ear, and you're gonna splice your hair. So you're gonna go all the way back, meet your thumbs in the back, and then you're just gonna split it like that. And now you wanna tie this half bit up and you're gonna start on the bottom first. And obviously the thinner the strands you use, the more of a curl or wave that you'll get. But I'm not trying to get super tight. So I'm gonna keep them barely about this much, actually a little bit less, it's a little tick. So about this much, I'm gonna take my strand and I go backwards. So just wrap it around. Don't burn your hand, I've burned my hand like 20,000 times already. Just wrap it around, hold it for a few seconds and just drop it and then when you drop it don't do anything to it just let it sit and then you're gonna go ahead and keep doing that and all the way around your head so all these you're gonna go backwards this way and then everything on this side you're gonna go backwards this way so everything goes like that do you know what i mean so take the next strand and wrap it around drop and there and you just let it sit Literally don't do anything to it. Grab the next strand. So I've done this half and now I'm gonna do this half. So I start from the back and then work my way forward. So I'm gonna throw that to the back and I'm going to grab a piece and do the same thing I did on the other side, but the opposite way. So now I'm going this direction. So now I take my hairspray. I've been using this Herbal Essence hairspray for the longest time. This is more for of a, I just want a quick hold, but I don't want something like intense hold. I don't care if my hair looks a little bit messy because it's supposed to look like messy, not effort kind of. So again, split it back in the half and then I'm just gonna <coughs> lightly spray the hair. So one, two, one, two, and I'm gonna toss it. I'm just gonna let it 
let it do its thing and i'm gonna move on to the next section so now the next section i use my the ends of my eyebrows and then i take it from there and i go all the way around again and then split tie this up and then do the next section so again you want to take these about half split in half whatever at the bottom i'm going to do on the next layer as well so grab a piece just quickly comb it out grab this and towards the back Okay, and then you're gonna take the other side and then do the same thing again. And now, same thing, I'm gonna take the hairspray and spray it. So. So from the arches of my eyebrow, okay, this is so exact, from the arches of my eyebrow, I take my fingers and I go to the back and then I go to the crown area and I just pinch it off there. And then I'm gonna let that fall. And this piece right here is the most important piece. So I'm gonna deal with this last. Just tie this bad boy up. And again, the same thing here as well as before i like to take a little bit smaller section at the front because that's the section around your face so you want it to be a little bit more neater than the rest of your hair for picture purposes you know So the piece in the back, what you want to do with that is you want to go under it and then just wrap it around just to give you a little bit of volume. So don't put it on top and roll it over, put it under. My arms are hurting. Again, hairspray. And now for the top. So my center part will go about up to here. So I'm gonna cut it here. And then this bit, I'm going to curl it again, put it underneath and curl it backwards. And this is where my center part would be. Wow, that is so awesome. So you're just gonna grab yourself something sharp, not too sharp, and you're gonna make your part it could also be a side part up to you bam what i learned is if you want volume here you gotta curl towards here so let me show you what i mean so basically i'm gonna split this into two so i'm gonna take this and normally i would do it like this right but what i want to do is i want to hold it this way like this and then do it because that way i'll have more volume there you see all that volume that is crazy 
cool. And now you're gonna do the same thing for the front piece. Look at that. I use zero hairspray. And I just want to like adjust it over so it could cool in the direction that you want. So I want it to cool like that. Now hairspray it. And no, do the same thing on the other side going this direction. You guys see that? Like, look at that. And the same thing with the front piece. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. Let that dry, and then after you're gonna take Y2 comb. I wanna take this one and I'm gonna comb it out. I just take half of it and I just bring it to the front like that. I start in the bottom and I just comb it out. And you get really big, bouncy, curled waves. And it doesn't even take that long. Literally 10, 15 minutes tops. And the best thing is, you comb it out, right? And you think it's just gonna open more, but it kind of like goes back into place. So it doesn't get as big, so it kind of shrinks. But as soon as you comb it again, it'll get big again. So I don't mind it looking very combed out. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Olaplex bonding oil, put it on my hand. And I'm gonna add this to the ends just so they're really, really soft and bouncy. And now if you want to add an extra little volume, you can just tease your crown, which is what I usually do. I hate having a flat head. So, but for this, I use this hairspray. So I use the Redken Pure 20 hairspray. And you're gonna need your teasing comb for that. Mine's really disgusting right now because I've had this for such a long time. I just got this from Sally's. And then you take where your hair starts going backwards and you just grab a bit like this and then you spray it oh crap you spray it like you spray near the root and then you start close to the root and you back home then you move up slowly and then go back to the root and push it down and you go up a lot of people think this damages your hair but that depends on how you comb it out so there is a technique on how to comb it out so you don't damage your hair but yo i've been doing this since probably grade seven and I've honestly seen no hair damaging going on and I usually do three layers so I've done one two and I'm just gonna do one more okay and then flip it over and now you just wanna just tame this so I just push it down and then lightly take your comb and then you you comb gently like the top layer so that way the rest of it stays teased And there you have it. That's literally it. That's all you do. This is like my go-to hairstyle. If you guys ever see me with this, you know I rushed it. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't need many things. 
again this was a really big investment piece it wasn't super expensive but it's lasted me such a long time but let me know if you guys try it or if you have any questions let me know down below and i hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next sunday bye